So with my guiding business, Offshore Adventures, we travel around the world. For me, and, and obviously for some of our clients, it's not just about the fishing, it's also about meeting the locals and, and learning about what actually goes on in that region. So to have the opportunity to meet Francis in PEI was an incredible experience. Francis is like the head boss of the Royal Star Seafood Company there. And for him to show us around and actually tell us about how they do it, why they do it, and also about how they're looking after their fish stocks and their, and their um, resource was quite an incredible experience for us and very humbling to see how much time and energy they were putting into it. You can't go lobster fishing all year round here. Hold on. There's two seasons, May and June. Yep. That's considered the spring season. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then there's a summer season which starts on August the 10th until yep. October the 10th, two months. Yep. Same system there, limited amount. You gotta buy someone out that's in that fishery. Right, so there's, when, only, there's only so many. There's only so many, and when you buy out a fisherman in that area, that's the area, that's the only zone that you can fish in. Right. Okay. So when you have a, a an area, there's a certain amount of poundage that you can take out no, of there for the season. No. Pounds mean nothing. It's a season. That's right. It's so you can get two months. You can for the some years are good. Some years are not so good. Yeah. A lot of the factors that plays into our spring season is water temperature. Right. If the water temperature don't warm up, then you don't get big, big fishing because the lobster won't move around as much. Okay. And why, why is the lobster fishing so good in this area? We probably because of the habitat, yeah. but we're probably fishing in one of the most sustainable fisheries in the world due to the regulations that we got to fish underneath. Yeah. All females with eggs are returned to the wild. Yeah. All females of a certain size is turned to the wild. All lobsters under a certain carpet size are released to the wild. And our traps are all pots. And they all have a mechanism onto them to release all the small lobsters. We have another mechanism that's biodegradable after 70 days in the water, it disintegrates. So we we'll never have ghost fishing in our pots if the pot is lost at sea. Oh, so the pot, pot is dry, okay. it can And then out. one of the other things we have, the entrance to get into the pot is only a certain size, so lobsters after they're a certain size can't get in. Do you have bottom trawling out where? No, the only dragging that's allowed on PEI is scallop dragging in some areas, and it has to be on the north side of PEI, outside of 120 feet of water. Right. None inside of it. So anything from 120 feet to the shore, no trawling at all. So the seafloor would be in good condition? Not touched. So we have an abundance of seaweed that yeah. grows on the ocean floor. Yeah. I don't believe in bottom trawling. I look at it as farming. Yeah. If you went in a farmer's field, every time that he's grain or something come out of the soil and cut it all off, you ain't going to have a crop at the end of the year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The herring fishery is the same system. It's under regulations. Yeah. We're only allowed to fish a certain amount of pounds certain net size and only so many days and the season is done. Oh, yeah. And it's the same thing with our mackerel fishery, our tuna fishery. On PEI they're allowed about one tuna per licensed fisherman. Now we have a hook and release yeah. fishery that's growing in size because a lot of people, they want to fish the experience of fishing the bluefin, but they want to release it to yeah. back to the wild. Yeah. And you know, you're always going to have controversy between the commercial and the sports. Yep. I see no real po problem in the sports fishery. I don't fish sports fishing myself, but I think it's a good thing. Yeah. It allows people to go out and experience to catch one. Yep. And I think the mortality rate, you know, they've got it down that it may be 1%, yep. which is really good. And uh, it brings a lot of money to the economy. Yeah. It's nice to see the younger fishermen really start to understand that they have to look after the resource yeah. if they want to continue to make a living and we'd all like to leave it there for the next generations to come yeah. it's not ours it's ours to use now but make sure that it's healthy for the next generations to come yeah that's a smart that's thing that's the sad yeah. thing about some places is they're fishing everything out yeah. you know but without the fishery here they wouldn't be anybody here